Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to encode and decode variables in Stata. Now the purpose of doing so will be to transform string variables into numeric variables and numeric variables into string variables. To do that let's start by loading a data set. We'll do census 13 which is a pre-installed data set. It represents the demographic characteristics of the states of the United States and let's do this let's start by taking a variable that is state okay and this is a numeric variable and we're going to transform it into a string variable that I'm going to call state name now you've seen that code before we get to it let me just show you that data set again and we see that state is in fact numeric how do you know that well there's a couple of ways. Uh, first, when you click on a state and you see that it has a number associated with it up here, that's one way you know. Another way you know is by looking at this window and seeing that the type is byte, you know, rather than string. And yet another way is through the color of the font, which is blue. Uh, you know, and you can see that blue font here too. That is how Stata shows that. Although what you're looking at is text, what it really is, is a number. So when we use the decode command, which I'm going to put up again, we're going to generate a string variable. So that's that's specifically why we use decode for. So you write decode and then you put in the numeric variable that you're transforming, put a comma and gen here is for generate and state name in parentheses here is the name of the new variable that I want. So let's verify that I've created that. So you can see that here and so now there's a couple of ways that you know it's string. First of all it's string down here and the type. Secondly, it's red when you look at it. And third, when you click on any particular state, when you look up here, you're not seeing a number. You're seeing the actual name of the state. So, you know, that's what you've done. And, you know, what you could do, you could go ahead and you could designate that, give it a label here if you wanted, like state name. So you could distinguish it from the state ID. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull up a display here. Let me show you my code just in case you want to see it. Tab disp state name comma cell state. And so state name is the variable I just created. That's the string variable that's here. And state was the existing numerical variable if you remember. So what we have in this table is just proof. We have proof that what was encoded here uh, numerically as a state we've just kind of succeeded in mapping that over as a string variable. And now we can kind of go the other way with that too. We can use encode and start with a string variable here which is state name if you remember and then I'm going to generate another new variable I'm just going to call it state ID and that variable is going to be numeric and I know there's some duplication here but I just want to show it to you. Yeah, see? See how it's blue again and how these are numbers up here and how actually here I haven't decided to create it as a byte uh, variable type. It's long, but that's still numeric. So this shows you that you can kind of go back and forth between numeric and string variables very easily in Stata. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.